Okay, our, our second speaker today um, is leader of the Australian Reason Party, Fiona Patton. Um, thanks, Fiona. Thank you. Um, thanks very much, Chloe, and uh, and 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 thank you, thank you all who are here today for for, for everything that you do. Um, it's it, it's not easy, and it's re and it's remarkable. And in, in thinking about what I was going to speak about today, I you know spent some time writing some notes, but um, I doubt that I will even look at them. Uh, but I will try and keep to five minutes. Um, I I um, I just thought politics is is personal, personal as politics, and and I, and I heard someone being chastised. Uh, chastising the Prime Minister about this this morning, um, saying, look, you know what, he had to think about his daughters before he could think about the women who worked in Parliament. And, and, but the first thing I was thinking about this morning was um, my uh, a, a very close part of my family, who um, we called the ambulance twice to our home when she had overdosed in the bathroom. And, and there was a time when we just didn't think she was going to make it. You know, we, we, we didn't know what to do. We didn't know where to turn. Um, there was a family support group in Canberra, which was, was wonderful. But there wasn't a lot of support they could offer apart from just being at the end of the phone for us. Now, she is a wonderful woman. Today, she has two children. She's a professional. She's um, she has a professional job helping others, and um, we are so lucky. And when I think of of Tony and I think of Damien, and I think that um, uh, our family member was about the same age, and so it was probably 23 years ago that we were we were dealing with this. But we were one of the lucky ones in that that our loved one came through. But politics is personal, and as I say, this is probably, uh, drug law reform is probably one of the most explicit areas where this is literally about people's lives. And governments spend billions of dollars dealing with drug use in our society. And we don't spend it well. And, um, Sam has been a constant reminder of how poorly we spend that money. I think yesterday the coroner reporting on how poorly we spent that money in drug treatments in prisons. And um, she made some very strong recommendations which um, I, I hope our governments will listen to. But I also reflect on, um, and I think, you know, we, we talk about this all the time. Let's treat drug use as a health issue, not a criminal one. And yet we still insist on criminalising people. And that creates the stigma. That creates, you know, I, I, I'm realising that stigma today because I'm not willing to say the name of that person, um, that, that loved one. I, I, I don't want to to put that stigma on her today. And so there, it, we still have not dealt with that stigma and we must, and we can. And there's things that governments can do. And, and part of that is the work that you do in telling your stories and in being out there. And I know that that is hard. And I know that it's really hard to even tell um, other family members about what you're going through. And I remember Sherry Short saying to me, when I first met her, I told everyone in my family that my son died of a car accident. And I know she's not alone. So what can we do? We can change this. We have a three pillar approach to drug law, to, 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 um, to the way we treat drugs in, in our society. We need four pillars. Treatment and support needs to have its own pillar. It needs to be just as important as enforcement prevention and the rest. Um, seeing my colleagues here today, and I know, you know we may disagree on many things over, over the, the cut and thrust of, poli of Parliament, but I know that these are things that we are completely unified on today, and drug law reform, decriminalise the use and possession of drugs, re refocus our expenditure on drugs, 
into support and help, look at rehabilitation, start talking about this as a health issue. And I know, you know, it's, we, uh, I don't want to keep repeating that, but that would enable us to start having those conversations at the GP, at the doctor, sometimes maybe being able to talk about something before it's a problem. So I hope that today um, is, is just, is another, you know, it's, it's not a, it's a bumpy, it's not a, as, as all of you know here, you know, helping your loved ones is not a straight line um, and drug law reform is not a straight line, but I'd probably like to suggest to my colleagues and put them on the spot, but maybe um, we need a parliamentary friends of drug law reform group and maybe we just started it today. Thank you. <laughs>